The next one they wrote, and this is the, on the same day. They could have combined these two. Excuse <laughs> you. The women of Birds of Prey have tons of sex appeal. Written by Princess Weeks. Okay, Written Princess. Princess Thank Weeks. You. Okay. So, oh, yeah, we were going to go over the comment section a little bit more uh, here, but, eh, okay, I'll, 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 there's 68 on this one. Okay, so. How could you ruin Mary Elizabeth Winstead? Look at her. Mary, Liz Mary Elizabeth Winstead in this photo looks like Kristen Stewart's older sister from yeah, uh, Twilight. Yeah. And I don't know what this yellow thing that Harley Quinn's got on and black and red. Can they not find black and freaking red? I mean, did she shop from the movie places in mannequin? You would think the black and red would be easy colors to bring up. Even in the first, in the suicide squad, she was wearing blue and red, black and mother in red. And also here, why doesn't she have bigger pigtails? That would work. Uh, no. the, the, uh, the person playing uh, Black Canary, she's cute. Or the face paint. Give me the white face paint. Yes. Can't we just get, yeah. That would make it so much better. I don't care what she's wearing, as long as she has the, 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 the jester ma makeup on here. No? Now, what's her name? Lopez here. She's 40 something. She's doing fine for her age. I think she's she's okay. And yeah, she's Renee Montoya. And uh the girl playing Black Canary, I think she's kind of cute. She's not bad, but we you know, I don't I do not expect them to make a Black Canary movie and put her in fishnets. I just don't. That's not gonna happen. But uh so far I think she comes off the best. The worst are, I believe, Harley Quinn and Cassandra. Honestly, if you're going to have a Black Canary, I would have had the girl played Mia uh, Quinn or, or Mia, Mia Queen in the CW universe. Yep. She has, she's a blonde. She has, she has a look. Well, I'd been saying Black Blake Lively for, for the longest time now, but um, my goodness gracious. These two right here are atrocious for who they're playing. It really is. It's just, it's god awful. Uh, sometimes cis men, you lost me. Also, I identify as straight. Done. Online <laughs> love being loud and wrong. One man in particular got Twitter dragged for saying that the upcoming Birds of Prey movie starring a diverse all female cast was going to bomb just like Charlie's Angels because they removed any sex appeal these characters had in order to appeal to us girl power feminists instead of the core male comic book audience. Now, here's the thing. Wait, the, the core, core? The core? Oh, so you mean the, the way people actually read the comic books? You don't read the comic books. Thank you for admitting. Well, by saying core, she kind of gets it. Um, if you do it right, we are going to go see this movie. More than likely, even a lot of people who say they are not going to watch this movie are going to go out of their way to see it because it's a comic book movie and we're comic book fans and we will literally see anything with a comic book character in it. They don't appreciate that, nor do they uh, do they respect the fact that we are the ones who can be relied on. So if you piss us off, if you kick us out, if you send us away, you're going to lose a ton of money. Now, some people could say it's go woke, go broke. Not necessarily so. Catwoman didn't go woke, but it went broke because Catwoman had nothing to do with what was on the page. We wanted to see Selena Kyle. We wanted to see her in Gotham. We wanted to see a Catwoman movie. They didn't make a Catwoman movie. Sadly, it bombed so bad, I don't know if we'll ever see a Catwoman movie. And that, that's a sad thing. Same with Supergirl. Supergirl, at least she had, had the costume, was a big mess up. I don't know. I don't know. I see sis as a slur. No, no kidding, man. Uh, there were reviews that said this is a Harley Quinn was the star of the movie and the rest of the Birds of Prey are undervalued uh, and underdeveloped, says uh, Starfire is mi Mib. Black Canary costume on Arrow season six looks really good, says Trusty Psychic. Yuck, if they want to, uh, women to adopt fashion styles from this movie, not even Harper's Bazaar would push this trash and they have some seriously messed up fashion trends. Uh, that's funny. That's funny. Supergirl season one was all right, and I agree with you on that, too. I was one of the ones singing the praises. They actually uh, brought back a cast member yeah. uh, this season. They also added that even women want to see attractive women on screen. Well, as someone who is in the latter category, I've got to say everyone is looking pretty hot to me. 
I remember watching the Suicide Squad and thinking that Margot Robbie's costume was one of the most uncomfortable things I'd ever seen. Even in the press during the profile with the New York Times, Robbie sort of played both sides, admitting that the costume was in character. Ms. Robbie said that she could justify the wardrobe her characters wearing hot pants because they're sparkly and fun, she said, not because she wanted guys to look at her ass. Uh, I Like I said, I didn't like that costume. It wasn't it, uh, I like the ones she held up, and I was like, yes, let's see Harley Quinn. I like that one, but no, I didn't like the Harley, the daddy's little girl, the whole thing. Daddy's little girl to me was this, uh, across her chest was the same as damaged across the Joker's head. I just didn't care for it. It was like so f***ing on the nose. It's just funny and all that she says this, but then wasn't she also in The Wolf of Wall Street? Oh, that was her big break. Like an over-sexualized character? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, that's true. But the poor, the poor, the poor, the poor, Scorsese hired me for that role, I would do the same thing. Um, the article goes to say, yet she also said that outside of the character is Margot, no, I don't like wearing that. I'm eating burgers at lunchtime. And then you go to do a scene where you're hosed down and soaking wet in a white T-shirt. It's so clingy and you're self-conscious about it. But it had to happen because director David Ayer said, I didn't think denim overalls would be appropriate for the character. How about the actual outfit and represent our characters the way we want them represented, the way they should be represented? Hell, they don't put, like I said before, in the Arkham games, they don't have Harley Quinn in the classic costumes, but they do really cool, workable uh, variations of them. And it works. And it looks good. And yes, it's sexy. Oh, uh, you know the character who made her debut wearing essentially footy pajamas. And when we look at Robbie is wearing in Birds of Prey, oh my goodness, is that a jumpsuit? Not overalls, but the same energy. It's because it's bright ass orange yellow overalls that look fugly. They're fugly overalls. It looks like she just went back to the 80s and just took started taking all the most ugliest uh, things, trends that have been killed off for good reason. And yeah. be like, you know what? I'm going to use this because I'm saving money and I'm, you know, what? She's, uh, a, she's a cheap dollar whole version of Harley Quinn. Uh, let's see. Sup, John? Uh, I only watch crossover episodes of Supergirl now. Uh, actually, it's gotten better. Anything with uh, John Cryer. John Cryer is Lex Luthor. And, amazing. and, and is, amazing. Is, yeah, people will say that, uh, that, that small, uh, basically Supergirl is like a horrendous CW woke. When they see John Cryer in there, it's like, holy crap. Yeah. It's like, I, you know, that just like means the whole entire show. Uh, just listening to England Teen's soothing voice and reading Jeff. The only person with a more soothing voice than me in the comic book community is Ling Cara. Uh, that's when we want to see beautiful women. I, Of course, an Aqualad of Atlantis knows what we're talking about. And if you really want to have a low by speech, you know, or just listen to Edwin Boyette. He's got this early soothing voice, too. Ah. No, I'm not, I'm not oh, saying no, he seriously does. I was yeah, joking I, about. I, I know, yeah. Well, Link Carr, yeah, when he does his skits, it's great. Yeah, uh, how you know he he came from somewhere other than ha, 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 Hawaii? Excuse me, I can't talk right now. Also, um, over sexualized Engelteen. Yeah, that's what yeah. Eric's saying. Thank you, Eric. Yeah, I miss Smallville also, but thankfully I've got them all on DVD, so I can watch them anytime. Not to mention all of the adult women in the cast are gorgeous. They're pretty, yeah. Uh, I'm not going to lie. Look, that's part of the problem here. Like you said, how do you make Mary Elizabeth Winstead unattractive? How are you making Margot Robbie unattractive? Could be the, wearing a burlap sack and still be... Uh, no, sorry, I don't agree with that. <laughs> Obviously not. Unless she's naked under that. Yeah, uh, let's see. Of the most facially gifted... Um, Robbie could be wearing a burlap sack and still be one of the most facially gifted humans on Earth. Plus, Dinah is still showing plenty of cleavage. I think she's actually coming off as cute there. I, I don't think she's uh, ugly in her outfit. I said, I'd rather just get the seat, uh, the original Birds of Prey, the ones that are, you know, the, one the, girl, the girl who originally played Dinah, she's playing Alice on the, on the Batwoman. You know, I think she it's funny that the Birds of Prey TV show play, pays more, of, more respect to Huntress in that long black coat than it what does. we get here. Yeah. And I'm gonna say, yeah, that show was kind of hokey too, and all. But you know what? I kind of respected the search material more. See, now this really ticks me off. 
Um, right here, this next thing. She's wearing a leather bra and low cut, and Harley is wearing a bra, and her zipper goes all the way down to her underwear. There's plenty of skin to be had. Okay, then ask yourself this. What's the problem? Instead of saying we hate women, instead of saying, oh, blah, 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 we just want to see naked boobies or something like that, ask yourself truly, if they are showing skin and we're still saying they look ugly, ask yourself what's the problem? Get beyond this two-dimensional thinking and really delve. You, you, it, it's yeah. like, uh, you know, you, you go, anytime anybody's arguing with, with someone, they, they think they're evil. And that's it. And that's the you get it in politics all the time. If you're a follower of Trump, then, of course, everybody who follows uh, AOC is evil. If you're a follower of AOC, everybody who follows Trump is evil. Not that they have different opinions or anything like that. Their opinions can be stupid, obviously. Yes. But the whole that's what this girl's doing. She's not thinking past her their fucking nose and to get the point. These two paragraphs contradict. She says one thing up there. So, uh, you go back up, right? She says you need to really need. Uh, she says we have Harley is we have uh, Diana still show most collegiate. She's wearing a leather bra, and if you go uh -huh. to the next paragraph, it shows like do you mean Harley in uncomfortable camel toe ca uh, causing shorts? Yeah, I was going to get there. Leather bra be chafing too. These shallow standards of sexual desirability are so boring. Do you really need a boob window and unrealistic? Don't with power girl do not screw with power girl right yes all right done holy um, toledo are we, am i the only one who never wants to see a power girl movie until this woke culture dies i just uh, don't want to yes, see it we'll get a uh, power man what we're gonna get is we're gonna get uh yeah it, it'll be played by Kristen stewart because they don't want the big boobs they don't want the boob window or anything like that boobs. we're gonna get justin yeah. bieber <laughs> Seriously, uh, um, they hate boobs, and that's why they always go up to the girls who have no boobs. Uh, it's sad when you actually have porn stars who actually put on the actual comic base, co uh, uh, you know, this extra source material, the costume they look like in the comics, and they look better and they act better. You know? uh, okay, let's get uh, let, let's get through this here. Um, let's see. Da, 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 da. Do you really need Harley and uncomfortable camel toe causing shorts? Come on. Just no, give no. us, the, give us those footy pajamas and we'll be fine. Yeah, give her the gesture uh, outfits. Yeah, absolutely. While I hate feeding the trolls, this subject always hits me because as someone who does enjoy a little bit of fun TNA, I think from everything I've seen that birds of prey has really managed to bring it all together in a really beautiful, fun way. And I could tell you that is more than whatever Charlie's Angels had going for it. Plus, Charlie's Angels is a pretty defunct intellectual bio property, and we are in the era of comic book films. It's yeah, and if you keep making movies like this looks like it's going to be, superhero films are going to be uh, defunct as sorry. well. I still like Charlie's Angels full throttle and all this stuff over any of the crap they're doing now. Yeah. Oh, and Princess Week, first thing she gives her pronouns. <laughs> Uh, let's see. What part of uh, Janice Smollett Bell's body is unattractive? I am genuinely curious because from where I'm standing, that I don't even know which one that is. Uh, I think that's the one that's playing Black Canary. Yeah, no kidding. Nobody's nobody's complaining about Black Canary. I don't even know who any of these people are other than Mary, Mary Elizabeth Winstead and Margaret Robbie. I've never heard of these people. Let's it's, see. It's like uh, you, just, you just grab somebody like, oh, you look cool. We're going to put you in here. Do you, are you woke? Yeah, I am. Curve, you're hired. To see these few lions, you're good. Uh, let's see. Forget the loser's comment. I'm so here for this movie. I don't know why, but I'm more hyped for Rosie Perez is playing an older Renee Montoya than almost anyone else in the cast. And yes, God, Diane, Dinah's hot. Um, Perez is Montoya's casting perfection. Sorry, Michelle Rodriguez. That yes. would have been that would have been perfection. Uh, Perez, I actually never hated Perez. I thought she was pretty decent. She did have the voice, but I would have liked her as Montoya about 20 years ago. Right now, you want to make it perfect, Michelle Rodriguez would have been perfect. Yeah, their ages are, uh, for casting is so odd because in the comic books, you know, Montoya, is, even though she's old, but she's not really old, I'd say she's probably about a little, little younger or right around her age as Lois Lane, maybe. Yeah. You know, but like, same with Harley. Harley is probably old. I'd say she may be a little bit older. Yeah. Uh, let, 
older cis straight male type here. All these women look pretty appealing to me, sexually speaking. Movie might still suck, but not because it isn't blowing to or uh, bowing to the male gaze. Still think Charlie's Angels could still say something in the 21st century, but I don't think they cracked how yet. Yeah, I don't know. Did you mean straight men? Because a lot of cis men don't care if they're sexually attractive because we're not sexually attracted to them. We're gay. I don't even know what you frickered hell with all this. <laughs> I don't know what they're talking about anymore. This is why I tell people I tell and I've told a couple at work these days. I say I don't play that. I don't play that game because you can offend anybody. You can get offended easily. Um, and I and to to say it, I said, uh, if you ask me what my pronouns are, my my response might be what I don't look like a man. Yeah, you can offend me just by asking. So I don't guess. even freaking ask. Don't play the freaking pronoun game. Don't play the cis straight bullshit. Just be who you are and go about your fucking day. Like I guess I said, my preferred pronouns are hey, uh, hey asshole, or I hate that guy. All of this culture seems to be so someone could get offended and someone could act like a victim. And I'm I'm just not into that. I'm not into playing the game. I'm not into pretending that someone's a victim when they're not. And I'm not into pretending I'm a victim myself. But like so, I said, you know, uh, we're not part of this whole hate culture. This movie could turn out to be good. I'm hoping it, it does. Fingers well. crossed. Because seriously, maybe it's just like you said. It could be a case where it's just a bad, uh, all this woke material surrounding it, and it turns out to be great. Dark Freight was like that. So there you go, gang. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to click on any of the videos that are popping up right here. Hope you enjoy those as well. And if you don't mind helping out the channel. Click subscribe, ring that notification bell, making sure all the notifications are on for your YouTube and Google. And don't forget to go on over to Patreon or to Ko-Fi. Drop a dollar in the till, links in the description below. Like, thank everybody who's already done that. To everyone, all of the true believers, thank you very, very much for watching.